welcome to back benches i hope everything is going well with you all and i hope you all are fine we have finally reached to the end of the chapter of absorption by roots and after finishing today's session we will be finishing with today's chapter after that i will provide a pdf to all of you which will hold a lot of important questions so make sure you go through the pdf and if any one of you wants me to check your answers regarding the pdf questions then i'll provide the mail id as well you all can send me your answers to the mail id and i'll definitely check the answers for you all let us move on with today's session let us look at the division of the chapter for the one last time first was the introduction second was the roots and its advantages third was osmosis and its types fourth was terms of osmosis and its significance and tonicity fifth was flaccidity turgidity and its significance sixth was root pressure transportation and forces contributing to ascent of sap and today is the last session that is the session regarding the experiments of the chapter so today we are going to be discussing about the experiments that we have in absorption by roots and then there is doubt class as well till now i have not received any doubts of yours but still i'm looking forward for some doubts so make sure whatever doubts you're having just write it down in the comment section i'll answer them in the doubt class let us move on with today's session here are some questions from the previous session the first question is what is the difference between addition and cohesion very easy question very easy difference is also there you all know the answer just go and write it down and the next question is name the tube with the narrowest diameter in plants this is a very very important sort question i'll write in the bracket vvi which stands for very very important and then i will write short questions it's a very important short question which comes in exams so please go through this question the answer you have already i have discussed this uh, particular point in the previous session so if you have not seen the videos of the previous sessions i will provide the link of the playlist to the description box please go and check the videos out let us move on with today's session we will discuss now about experiment 1 experiment 1 the aim of the experiment is to show that roots absorb water in plants roots are the only parts which absorb water and via this experiment we are going to prove that point how we can prove that point for proving that point we will take two apparatus this is our apparatus this is going to be our apparatus for experiment number one this is setup a and this is setup b now setup b is the control setup sorry setup b is the control setup and setup a is the experimental setup i'll write it here at the top it is the experimental setup so what are the things that we have taken in the experimental setup first of all we have taken a beaker this is beaker all of you can see we have taken a beaker then we have taken inside the beaker water so we have filled the beaker with water you can see that this is the level of water in the experiment in the setup b we have also taken another beaker and then we have put the same level of water the new thing that we have added in the experimental setup a is this particular plant this plant is balsam plant it's a well watered leafy balsam plant which will help us to demonstrate this experiment so this is balsam plant and we have picked this plant from the soil while picking the plant we have to keep one point in our mind we have to keep the roots intact 
because we need the roots this experiment is about roots so we need the roots intact along with the stem roots intact with stem then we have dipped this particular plant in the test tube which is containing water and then we have put few drops of oil from the top why we have put few drops of oil from the top to seal the surface of the water so that there is no loss of water taking place from the surface we have put oil in the control setup as well to lock the loss of water through evaporation After finishing the apparatus, we have to let the whole apparatus sit for some time, both experimental setup and control setup. And after some time, we are going to observe a certain change in experimental setup. The control setup is not going to go through any change because it's the control setup. It never goes through any change. The experimental setup always goes through the change. What is the change going to be? We are going to observe that the level of water in the experimental setup, the level of water I am talking about, which is this level, will decrease. We can say that the this was the initial level. Let me just write it with I. Okay. Let me change the color of the ink. Let me just write it with I. This level is the I and suppose the water came down to this particular level which is the final level. That is the observation that we are going to do. What inference can be draw from this observation? We can easily say that water is absorbed by the roots. Why we cannot say that water is not uh, lost through evaporation because we have already sealed the surface of the water with oil. We have already put oil in this particular beaker to seal, to lock the removal of water through evaporation. So the only way left is transpiration that is from the leaves. Transpiration might have taken place. So if transpiration is taking place, for transpiration to take place also water is required for the leaves, right? Water is needed for the plants to be absorbed. Hence, the roots have absorbed water. That help us to determine that roots actually absorb water in plants. After some days, or you can keep it for some days, or if even if you keep it for few hours, you can notice the change easily. So you can keep it for few days or few hours. It doesn't matter. The change is going to be visible but at least you have to keep it for more than two to three hours either hours or days for days if you go for days then one day is going to be enough to demonstrate the experiment after some days we will observe that the level of water in the test tube has fallen test tube what test tube we are talking about here test tube a that is the experimental setup. Experimental setup is going to go through it, the change. On the other hand, if we look into the control setup, control setup is not going to go through any change. It is just going to remain as it is. So control setup, that is B. Control setup. remains same even after days months year it is going to remain the same that was about experiment one very easy experiment very simple experiment to understand there is nothing much complication in this experiment let us move on to the experiment number two that we have experiment number two the aim of the experiment is to show that water is conducted upwards through xylem water is conducted by whom by xylem we all know but in what direction that also we know upwards 
To prove this, we are going to be performing this experiment number 2. Let us first look into the apparatus. For performing this experiment, you all can perform this experiment at your home as well. This diagram shows the performance of this experiment when you will be, con when will you be con concluding this experiment at your home. So, this diagram is for home experiment. This diagram shows the experiment which is performed at home. What we have taken? We have taken three glasses. We have taken three glasses. Let me just write the uh, things at the bottom that we have taken. Firstly, we have taken three glasses. Then we have filled the glasses with water of the same amount. Then the next thing that we have taken is we have taken three types of dyes. And then we have put three types of dyes and then we have added them in water. Added them in water. The third thing that we have taken, let me write it here. The third thing that we have taken is Three flowers with stem. Those are the three things that are required for performing this experiment in your home. For performing this experiment in the laboratory, things are different. For performing this experiment in the laboratory, let us look what the things, what are the things that are needed. We have taken a beaker. You all can see that this is a beaker. This beaker is containing water. This is the level of water in the beaker. And then the, we have taken this particular stem. This is a well watered leafy shoot. Shoot means stem of which plant? It's the same balsam plant. It's the same balsam plant. In the beaker, in the water, we have added eosine solution. We have added eosine solution. Eosine, you all don't know what is eosine. This term is new to you all. But we will be reading about eosine term when we will be reading about cardiovascular system as well. So, for the time being, you all need to know that eosine is an acid dye. And it stains yellow, orangish, or reddish, or reddish orange. Three types of stains it can give. So we have put few drops of eosin in the beaker. And then we have put the balsam plant in the beaker. And then we have to let this whole apparatus sit for three to four hours or more after three to four hours what we are going to do is we are going to rinse rinse the whole stem the whole root part especially under tap water so after few hours what we are going to do is after few hours we will wash the root part nicely to get rid of the of the eosin dye of the eosin dye and after rinsing it we are going to make three transverse sections one is of leaf, another is of stem and the third is of root. So this is first transverse section, this is the second transverse section 
and this is the third transverse section we have made three transverse section and then we are going to view this transverse section under the microscope when we will view these things under the microscope what we are going to observe this is a portion of the leaf let me just use the white color to show all of you this is the portion of the leaf which is going to stain with eosin dye that is the reddish color inside the stem in the xylem we can see the color is red here reddish orangish color is here stained pink it is written pink here but it is basically a reddish orangish color and then in the roots we can also see in the transverse section that here is also the dye so in all the three sections we will be able to see the color of the eosin dye in which the plant was dipped which proves that which proves our aim of the experiment which proves our aim of the experiment which was to show that water is conducted upwards through xylem so by these three transverse sections we can easily conclude that water was conducted through xylem otherwise it won't reach to the leaves the only organ in plants that can conduct water upwards is xylem and that is why we can prove through this experiment that xylem is conducting water and that too the direction is upwards the xylem vessels will appear distinct from the rest not only the xylem vessels but also the roots not only the xylem vessels but also the ps of roots and leaves ts means transverse section nothing else ts means transverse section if you have to perform this experiment at home you can do this experiment what you will do you will just simply cut the stem of the flower and you can observe the dye inside it or you, if you see in the leaves as well you can see that the leaves has taken up the dye as well this is showing blue color and this is showing reddish color and this one is showing yellowish color that means the same experiment has been performed if you want to perform this experiment in a different way at your home you can also use a vegetable which is celery uh, this is a celery vegetable you can use it you can take five beakers you can put different dyes you can immerse them you can immerse five stems in the water for some time and then after that you can cut through the stem and you can observe the color changing that is how you can perform this experiment at, at your home so this is also for home purpose i am writing it here home purpose let us move on to the experiment number 3 aim of the experiment number 3 is to show conduction of water through xylem how we are going to show this experiment we are going to be taking the help of this particular apparatus now here this experiment number 3 is very popularly known as girdling or ring experiment <coughs> girdling or ring experiment first let us quickly look into the apparatus in apparatus a we have taken a beaker filled with water and this is a particular retort stand you all can see to fix the stem in the water same things are taken in the beaker b we have taken another in the experiment sorry in the setup b we have taken another beaker filled with the same amount of water and this is another retort stand to fix the stem in the water the only difference in both of these apparatus is we have taken here a well watered balsam stem in both in both the cases we have taken well watered balsam stem in the first case what we have done is we have cut or we have removed a ring from the stem 
you can see at this particular portion the length has decreased why because we have removed a length a ring from the stem so what we have actually removed from the stem we have removed the xylem we have removed the xylem of the stem no uh, actually i may i, I actually uh, said it wrong we have removed in the first case we have removed the phloem of the stem in the first case we have removed the phloem of the stem in a we have removed phloem of the stem that is why this length has decreased in this area and in the second case we have removed the xylem of the stem let me write that as well removed xylem of the stem xylem of the stem now we have to let it let the apparatus sit for some time for some days we can say after some days or after some hours what we are going to observe is in case of apparatus b we are going to see that the leaves are very much turgid that the, that the leaves look leaves still look fresh and perfect as they were when we first took the stem out and in case of b the leaves has become droopy that is they are not looking fresh and turgid anymore that is they have they do not have the supply of water they did not get the supply of water that is why they look droopy so that is how we are going to demonstrate this experiment we see in this experiment in this setup one the leaves look rigid or in plant terms we can write here turgid the leaves look turgid and fresh but in case of the second that is the b apparatus we can see that the leaves are droopy that the leaves are droopy why the leaves are droopy the leaves have become droopy because in the apparatus b the xylem is removed from the stem so xylem is removed that means there is no one to carry water there is no organ to help the plants to and supply water to them to supply leaves the water therefore the leaves are droopy so in case of b what is happening is since since xylem is removed hence leaves become droopy and in case of a xylem is there phloem is removed so the leaves are still getting the supply of water and that is enough for the survival of the leaves and that is why the leaves remain intact and fresh let me highlight this particular point because this is a very important point and questions come from this point this experiment is commonly known as ring experiment or girdling experiment please remember the name here ring or girdling since xylem is removed from b hence leaves become droopy and here leaves are turgid and fresh that is all about experiment number 3 the last experiment of today is experiment 4 and in this experiment the aim of the experiment is to demonstrate or to show that food is conducted downwards from the leaves to the phloem we are going to be performing again once again the girdling experiment but this time we are going to be uh showing that food is conducted downwards from the leaves and who conducts it the phloem so this is also another part of girdling experiment 
this experiment has also the name of girdling or ring experiment so you make sure you remember the names this name girdling and ring experiment is very very famous it is very important for you to remember the name let us look into the apparatus we have taken two apparatus apparatus a and apparatus b firstly apparatus a shows the end of the experiment so we are going to discuss about apparatus a little while later let us first discuss about the apparatus b it is not completely shown in this particular diagram but in apparatus b we had taken a pot like this a well watered potted plant we had taken let me just write it here well watered potted plant with leafy stem then what we have taken uh, we have removed the cambium of the stem see this portion where you can see the length has decreased this is basically the removal of the cambium so from here we can say that cambium is removed cambium that is the outer layer of the stem is removed cambium removed xylem is not removed xylem is still remaining here xylem remains phloem also remains but cambium is removed and then we are going to let the apparatus sit for some time after some days what we are some time or some days some hours you can say after some days what we are going to observe we are going to observe this solen structure here at the top of the girdling this particular po a po uh, this particular portion from where we took out or from where we cut the cambium this portion is known as the ring or girdling ring or girdle okay let me use a different ink it is becoming very boring okay from where with the portion from where we cut off the cambium is referred to as the ring or girdle so be, above the girdle what we are going to observe after few hours or few days a solen part like this a solen part like this why is the solen part here the solen part actually shows that food was about to be transferred to the lower part but on its way it was stopped why because the cambium is missing in this portion the cambium is missing hence all the food that the leaves were sending to the downward parts of the plant were accumulated are accumulated in this region so the solen part solen part one second solen part above the girdle shows the accumulated food of the leaves accumulated food of the leaves that was about to be transferred to the bottom part but just because of the absence of the cambium the food transfer could not take place so that is what is shown is phloem is transferring food downwards right just because we cut off the cambium phloem was damaged a little bit after cutting off the cambium phloem was damaged a little bit it was not completely removed phloem was not completely removed phloem was damaged and that is why the transfer could not take place and the food got accumulated in this particular region that is why it became solen and if we have to look at, at the bottom of the girdle that is in this particular portion what we are going to observe in this portion is in this portion we are going to observe that it has become 
thinner or it has stopped growing. This portion has stopped growing. It will show loss of growth. Portion below the girdle. Portion below the girdle will stop growing. Why? Because of lack of food supply. In the bracket, I'll write here lack of food supply. lack of food supply that is why the plant the portion below the girdle couldn't grow that is all about experiment number four experiment three and four are the most important experiments among the four experiments that we just discussed in today's session if you have any doubts regarding the experiment then please do not hesitate to write in the comment section also, please go through this experiment once again. They are very easy to understand. Once you have understood the experiment properly by yourself, you can write it down. You don't have to follow the bookish language or you don't have to write it according to the book. You can write your own experiments. That is all about today's session. We will end this session here. Please like this video if you, if you have found it useful and share it with your fellow backbenchers. Also, subscribe to my channel for getting further such interesting portions regarding chapters. We will be very soon finishing. Uh, we have almost finished this chapter. We will be very soon starting a new chapter, which we have. Stay tuned for the further updates. Also, go through the PDF of the questions that will be uploaded in the description box. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Peace.